Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. It's quite a lovely day today. I've had to shut the blinds so that we can um, film or I can film. I always say we. <laughs> I don't know who else is here. It's only me. Um, and today we've got nearly all the babies here. We are missing three, which is Ruby. Um, she's going to be stripped again and repainted. And I have Karis, who's done but just wants waiting and I wanted to work on one of her ears. And then I have a sky or a sleep that I've started to work on that has to be completed. Um, but I'm going to leave Ruby to last. And then that, that will be all my collection then because that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That will be twelve. So that's a baker's dozen. I do really, well it's not a baker's dozen is it? Because that's thirteen. I do really like the Lulu. But I think that would be more like January before I get that. I probably will end up getting one. But um, I'm thinking more of my birthday in January for that one because um, we, we're um, fully booked. The hotel is booked. <laughs> no vacancies at the inn at the moment. And um, I want to be able to enjoy them all, not be thinking, oh, right, um, you know, which one's collecting dust and I need to clean it or whatever. Uh, at the moment, as you build up the collection, as you go along, each one has its own individual personalities by the way they look and how they turn out and how you see them. And um, I want to keep it that way. I don't just to turn into this whole, um, you know, array of faces like a school assembly. Look at little um, Saren over there in the corner, just in case you don't know which one she is. Far left, uh, far right, actually, my right, with the, the brown hair, chestnut brown hair. Um, I'm standing next to my camera. She looks like she's looking past the camera, but I'm standing next to my camera and... From where I'm standing, she looks just like she's looking at me intently and listening to me while the, all the others are sitting there going like, oh, come on, mum, hurry up. But you know, like you real kids do. But if I move over to more where I am, that's what that's what I can see, look. <laughs> she looks just like as if she's listening to me really intently, bless her. So I think what I'll do now is I'll just bring on each one and individually um, and tell you all about the sculpt and all about each one. Um, so you have a full knowledge of my um, babies, that I've got it for my, my own record, and um, anybody else who doesn't know my babies or doesn't know the sculpt is a newcomer, then they can get an idea. Um, one of the lovely things that um, I used to like to do when I was um, first starting out many years ago, and actually there wasn't that many on YouTube then, um, and also um, even now, if I want to see a sculpt, I always go onto YouTube because I always look at a box opening for the sculpt I'm after. So you can see it, <clears throat> excuse me, when it's actually been painted, what it looks like when the person's handling it, what the actual size looks like as much as you can tell. You know, that sort of thing. I have actually been won over by sculpts that I never liked before, seeing a different style of painting to the um, pictures that are sent out with the sculpt and, um, and the other way around as well. Um, and everybody's work is different. You might recognise a sculpt sometimes um, as you go through and you get to know them all more. But um, each person's artwork is so different that, and the different colour of hair and different things just makes a whole new um, individual each time, doesn't it? An individual baby. So that's one of the things that absolutely fascinates me and fascinates me with all my crafts. There goes our first siren. Uh, whether it's the babies or taking a piece of fabric and turn it into something useful or beautiful or oh go by quickly there you go or if it's some wool and you make something out of it or if it's some paper and you make something out of it just taking the basics and turn it into something unique and or beautiful or useful which uh, has always fascinated me since i was a child so um let's get started here we go so here he is this is my main man love this little guy um this is tristan and today he's wearing a hat and sleep suit from Next. He's got little blue um, scratch mittens on from Asda. And he's got his uh, elephant comforter that my daughter bought for him that she had a, his name in, in, embroidered on. I knew it engraved then. <laughs> had his name embroidered on. Uh, Tristan is a land and asleep. Um, he's about 22 inches. And so he takes a nice uh, 0-3. He fits 0 to 3, or up to 3 months, as they say, on next, beautifully. He, uh, their clothes um, suit him. And um, 
he has got hair, though I do actually prefer him with um, with a hat on. So I actually didn't need to root him. So when it came to his sister, Scarlett, I didn't root her because she's the same, similar features, looks gorgeous with a hat on. Even a headband makes a difference. So I decided that I wouldn't root her. I've always got the option to do it in the future at any time if I change my mind or get fed up from being of her being bald. But uh, he actually has um, brown hair hidden away under there. Um, Oh, let's get past my tripod. That um, took me ages to root. <laughs> let's see what you can see. Um, it's all, you've got hat hair now. Took me ages to root. Sometimes it's cute just to leave a few little strands at the front line, just to remind myself he has got hair. Um, yeah, but he's gorgeous. I painted him um, the kits from Bountiful Baby, um, a very pale so you have to build up the layers and build up the colour so I like to try and do it in really thin layers so that I build up like like I always imagine like the layers of your skin and build it up gradually and slowly and take your time until you get the effect you want and uh, the odd burnt ember wash doesn't hurt either to give it a bit of colour um, so there we are that's Tristan next up is his sister in real life Scarlet, who in real life actually I should have said the other way around, but in real life she's she's lavender, lavender asleep, and um, <laughs> we got a motorbike now. I can't believe it today, um, and she's about nineteen inches, um, but she's a dainty nineteen inches. Um, I've started putting her in up to one month, um, sleep suits from Next now, but she's wearing a hat from Next, her mittens are the same from Asda, George Asda. And she's got little sister, um, sleep suit on from next, which was the first outfit I bought for her, um, just to start her off. And she's got a comforter, a little teddy bear, with his little hat, and she's got her name embroidered on there as well. In this um, cushion, adorable, this cushion is, uh, or pillow, is what, um, let's see if I can tilt you up a little bit, there you go, is what, um, I'm looking at her now because she's looking at me too, is what Seren was sat on, uh, sat on, had a sat on top of it um, in um, the spare bedroom. And um, I didn't really think much of it until I got it out today to use um, because I'd not looked at it for a while. And then I remembered then and it's actually, I bought, um, see all this gorgeous embroidery and um, applique and things on there and then that bit in the middle that might give it away. And it's actually an old um, cotton tray cloth, embroidered cotton tray cloth. I need to put a stitch in there actually, that's kind of odd there. And I just turned it into a pillow, just cut a, cut a square out of it, or wherever it was I did, I can't see from here. And um, it's a long time ago now, I must have about five years. And I used the embroidered part to make the front of the pillow. It's really sweet, isn't it? Surprised myself on times. <laughs> so there you go, that's Scarlet. Bless her. This is the lipless one in my collection. This is... Grace Annette. Um, Grace just stood out. Um, Tegan has had a Grace as so she changed to Charlotte, but while well, she called her Gracie, full stop. I call her Gracie just for being sweet um, because she's a sweet little thing, but her name is actually Grace Annette. She is the um, Romilly sculpt by Cassie Brace and she's about 17 inches. She doesn't have the original body on either. I preferred one just slightly longer. Um, the other one I thought was just too, too small. Um, this one is better. I prefer it. And it's nice when you can change it and have it as your own, isn't it? And she's a baldy as well, the same as Scarlet. I'm quite into baldies at the moment because I really love the babies in sleep suits and hats. And I found that with a lot of them, if you just add a headband when they have got a dress on or a bonnet, they look absolutely adorable. And a lot of babies are bald, especially if they're going to be blonde. Um, so there she is, she's absolutely sweet at home. Um, it's nice when you have some special, oh, listen to me, blah, blah, blah. it's nice when you have special memories attached to babies. Um, they like, they become like mementos and keepsakes and more special in your collection then. And um, this one I got at the doll show um, where we met up with um, some really special friends and I took my granddaughter Teague and the first doll show she'd ever been to. And it was just a really lovely special day that we both really, really enjoyed. Um, so it's lovely. Every time I look at her, I think about that day, um, which is absolutely lovely. I'm really glad about that. Um, 
so there we have little Gracie uh, which is um, Romilly by Cassie Brace I did say didn't I if I didn't she, that's what she is <laughs> look at the others lined up behind just waiting in anticipation Narnia looks like she's leaning over getting ready to run <laughs> this is Seren Seren means star um, and she is the Ariana Awake by Reva Schick and she's a toddler she's 28 inches and she's a beautiful toddler and she is actually besides Abby and um, Jameson she is actually the most um, cuddly one and um, she's just lovely lovely to pick her up lovely to sit there um, lovely chunky legs the other two are gorgeous all of them are gorgeous um, but um, she's just a real sweetie and um, she's very special because she belonged to my late mum as most of you know I'm only saying it again just in case you don't uh, as part of an introduction to the whole nursery um, and um, she did actually originally have blonde hair that was rooted and I changed it to this brown because I could just see her with this little 1930s haircut and um, the little smock dresses and you know that kind of thing little tartan dresses and I thought she lent more to that way more like a vintage baby look to a vintage child and um, it, I think it really suits her she looks absolutely adorable and I love her little red cheeks with her brown hair it's gorgeous so um, there she is that's um, Seren and now it's Abby's turn this is Abby Rose <coughs> excuse me I should drink water <laughs> and she is a Casey Marie by Anne Timmerman lovely toddlers these are it, I'm never surprised why this sculpt is so popular lovely chunky legs lovely hands reminds me of the Ariana a bit in the placement um she's lovely and she's never very far away from Jameson at the back there in the blue top they're like little buddies together I always imagine them running around together and up to mischief if they were real um and she's about 29 inches she's she's slightly bigger than the Ariana and even though Jameson is supposed to be the same size according to the website I bought it from he is actually about an inch or so taller he does sit up a little bit higher than um, Abby but she's absolutely adorable wears 12 to 18 months size clothes and she has human hair which I rooted it's in a lovely strawberry blonde sort of colour and she's just adorable and uh, she's got two little teeth down the bottom which are ever so cute to see if I can zoom in and show you I'm going to show them your teeth yeah you cleaned them today <laughs> everywhere but where I want to go there she is she's the sweetest two little teeth on the bottom uh, which is quite fascinating when I actually painted I'd never painted teeth before there she is time for your close-up Mr. Bill or Mr. Deville whatever that old saying is there she is isn't she adorable so I'm just tightening up my um, tripod sorry for the wobbing you around yeah. Pretty little thing. Um, Hobie likes this one because she smiles all the time and doesn't just stare at the telly. <laughs> um, and she's quite cheerful to have around. I always thought before I had a smile, imagine having it smiling at you every time you looked at it. I didn't know how I would take that. But when you have got a smiler and it looks like a genuine smile, it's actually really lovely and it is quite cheerful. So there you are, there's um, Abby. Just before we move on to Jameson, just look at Narnia at the back. Doesn't she look like she's in a mood? She's just getting ready to run off. If she was real, she'd be the moody one, wouldn't she? <laughs> Bless. Next is Jameson, Jameson David. And he is... Oh, look, I've done to his jumper. <laughs> Sorry, mate. And he is the Lily Beth sculpt by Anne Timmerman. And he must be... You know, good 29, maybe 30 inches long. I never actually measured him, but he does sit higher than um, Abby over there on the end. And um, he's just gorgeous. He's got, um, I rooted him with uh, blonde curly mohair. And he's got blue eyes. And um, he's just adorable. He has the most peaceful little face. Absolutely a sweetheart he is. Just gorgeous. Look at that little face. Look, how could you resist? Imagine if he was real. Oh my God, you'd spoil him rotten, wouldn't you? <laughs> Look at that, bless him. So there you are. There's Jameson. Oh, look at Jameson. He's like, she put me back all by myself. <laughs> uh, next up is Madison. And she is the Elenka by Natalie Blick. And she is gorgeous. She's got, um, I rooted her strawberry blonde human hair. 
and she has dark blue Lauscher eyes, glass eyes, and um, oh, sorry, I'm a bit puffed out. <laughs> um, and she's gorgeous, she's about 40 inches long, and um, she's just a long, long and thin and slight. And um, she's like my little fairy princess. Um, she's gorgeous, adorable, with those great big eyes and the little tiny face. She's just a sweetheart. So she's another peaceful one in amongst the group. They're either cute, peaceful, or I reckon Narnia's moody. <laughs> or she would be if she was real. <laughs> um, but um, she's gorgeous. I've had her for about the longest, actually. Um, um, had my mum's the longest since 2013. And I've had... Um, let me just check my thoughts. Yeah, uh, Madison I had 2015 and then Rubin I had 2017 and then the others have all arrived since January 2018. So they've come in quickly <laughs> since then. So there you go, that's Madison and she's Madison Jade. And last but not least, as I always say, is Narnia. Who is the latest addition um, to my collection and she is 43 inches tall I think it is and she is the Angelica by Reba Schick. Um, she has phew, <laughs> she has um, hand-blown German glass eyes as well and they're blue and um, she has no hair yet I'll tell you a story about that in a minute and she's wearing some of the haul from yesterday as is Madison at the back there. Um, and she wears five to six age clothing, so, and a, a size eight or nine in shoes. So it'll give you an idea of um, how big she is. Um, I've got a seven-year-old grandson and they're probably just about the same build and height. <laughs> oh dear. Um, but she is absolutely lovely and I love having her. And um, well, I think I might be um, a bit disappointed about her hair. I was expecting her hair to be um, made and sent out um, the beginning of this week, have it the end of the week. But it looks like that um, I've paid the money to one of those scam companies that takes your money and then gives you either um, you don't get the order or the order you do get will be um, not as good as what you ordered. So it could be you've ordered human hair and you'll get a cheap synthetic wig, you know, that kind of a thing. So that's really annoying. I've started all the process of um, getting a refund, um, getting on to them and getting on through PayPal and starting a dispute and all that kind of thing. So we might be waiting a bit longer. And I am absolutely heartbroken over it because I was so waiting to see her finished. I am really cheesed off. It really has bothered me today and really cheesed me off. Um, and I can't even eat chocolate because I'm lactose intolerant. But that really, I should, could beep there. That really beep, beeped me off this morning. I'm um, trying to sort that out. Uh, but it's one of those things, it's not important. It's, oh, sirens. See, there's far more important things. That's just to remind you, isn't it? It's far more important things than a wig for your doll. But it's just that she was very, very special. And I was just really, really looking forward to it. But uh, there you go. Never mind. We just have to get used to that damn hat. <laughs> that I am so sick of seeing now, even though it's a beautiful hat. And I might even put it on her anyway. But I had this vision of this long hair going right down her back and coming down each side of her face. And it was going to be beautiful and she was going to be wonderful. And I finally got my Angelica and I'm so chuffed. But um, I shouldn't be so selfish. There are far more important things. And it's only going to put it off for a little while. But... Um, I am only human and I am disappointed. <laughs> I'm bitterly disappointed actually um, because I'm really annoyed because I've waited sort of two weeks or so already and now I'll have to sort it out for another week or so and then I've got to start the process all over again and then I've got to find somebody that I think I can trust to um, get one off. So in that time then will I decide to route her instead because I could take my time doing that over the weeks so it would take me to order one and things. So I don't know. Um, it depends what I feel. I can't at the moment. I I could be like, oh, forget it. I'll sort it out and I'll just start rooting. If even if it takes me a month of going back and forth to it, and then the other part of me is like, oh, I don't know. Just see what happens. So we'll see. Um, 
but uh, the way it's going um, I'm not very happy and you may see a few strands appearing under the hat over the next few weeks and then until it's all done because <laughs> now I'm wishing I did it in the first place because she'd be done by now nearly but uh, never mind we live and learn don't we and um, it's all part of the world today unfortunately with all the best checking of reviews checking where the company is checking everything you can about them checking whatever you can online about all these different companies they can still catch you out because you never really know who's behind it all do you but uh, never mind um yeah maybe i should just root it through in the first place and then that would be the end of that but uh you know like i say there's more important things and um I should leave it, you know, I won't, I'm not that worried about it like that. I can soon sort it out. Um, I was just really looking forward to it. I feel like a kid at Christmas now who's <laughs> lost his present. <laughs> oh, so fickle. So fickle and shallow, isn't it? <laughs> but there you go. Um, so there we are. That's all the babies at the moment, except for the others. Um, I'm going to do another update now when um, I've, I've finally got them all finished and completed and then they will be like my collection for quite a while then so I'll just enjoy them if I do add the Lulu it'll be as I say it'll be January start of next year and um, she will definitely be the last one for a while I don't um, I collect the dolls I collect I take a long time collecting them looking at the sculpts that kind of thing and um, so when or else they have meaning in some way so um, when I get them then I keep them they're like my children <laughs> <laughs> they become like my brood and um it's not very often that I'll I'll give any away and I I don't sell them um I might I would be more likely to um <clears throat> keep them forever or I may give um a small one away to somebody very special like a grandchild or something like that but um it's not really very likely because um you know like I say I put a lot of thought and a lot of work into each one and uh, they just become precious um, it's not like buying a commodity and then when you get sick of it you can get rid of it when you make them you put your heart and soul into it you've got all the disappointments you've got all the, the joy you've got all the hours you spent working on it and then you don't want to part with it then it's a, it's a totally different thing so thank you for listening to your ramble i hope you enjoyed looking at the babies hopefully we'll see nani with some hair before christmas <laughs> uh, and um, i shall be back soon so bye for now take care everyone have a lovely day and remember kindness costs nothing a kind word can make somebody's day. 